Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. This is another adventure with the Princess of Prince Street. Princess has not been out for a while as her owners have been on vacation. But it's a beautiful day, and she knows today she'll be able to get out for a walk. Princess waits patiently for her owners to leave so she can head out and see what is going on on Prince Street. The Princess of Prince Street helps Jiggles. It was early in the morning and Princess had just come in from her morning walk and had her breakfast. Her owners were always in a rush these days. They just didn't seem to be able to adjust to leaving the house early after taking much of the summer off. It didn't matter to Princess if they were late or on time, but like all dogs, she could sense their emotions and they were making her nervous. So she laid nearby in the living room, wagging her tail, as she watched them run around the house. Princess had a wonderful summer with frequent trips to the beach. Road trips, she loved sticking her head out of the car windows so that she could catch air. And of course, there was a trip to her owner's parents' house, which was by a lake that she would swim in every day. It was fun to spend so much time with her owners, but she also valued her alone time. And so she sat anxiously waiting for them to go out the door. Some dogs don't like being alone, but Princess just loved having time to herself. When the weather was as good as it was today, she always found places to go, friends to talk to, or she might spend her time hanging out with the gang. Her owners didn't know that she had this other life, of course, and would always worry about leaving her alone. They once tried taking her to the office, but that didn't work so well. Princess got along with most others, but this one chihuahua that was there just could not stop barking. So the experimental Take Your Dog to Work program was thankfully dropped. You see, her owners had no idea that she often left the house or had the ability to do so. They once suspected and came close to figuring out just how smart she was, but believed that the back door she used to go out must have been opened accidentally by the wind. Princess lived in an old manor house on Prince Street, made of old brick, which had three stories. This house was her ideal place to live, as each floor had a large window in which she could watch all the goings-on outside. That is, when she wasn't outside herself. Right after her owners gave her a pet and a kiss, She ran up the stairs to her favorite window to watch them get in their car and drive away to work. She really wanted to start her day, but she sat and waited. One time, they had come back, forgetting their lunch, just as she was about to open the back door. She has since taught herself to be patient After an appropriate amount of time, Princess jumped off the chair at the second floor window and tail wagging fiercely, ran down the stairs to the back door, which led to a lovely garden. That garden in turn connected to the neighbor's backyard, which led to the street and freedom. This door was the subject of one of her greatest tricks. She stood up on her hind feet, pushed down on the door handle, 
pushed hard and opened the door. The door then closed behind her as she walked out onto the back porch that connected to the garden. The whole garden was surrounded by a high fence, too high for Princess to jump over. But luckily, there was an old gate that connected to the neighbor's backyard, which she hurriedly pushed through into the neighbor's place and eventually out onto the street. Some days, Princess would simply roam the neighborhood, talking to others as she went, smelling all the interesting smells that to humans were disgusting smells. Other days, she would meet the gang down at the park across from the dentist office and near their favorite garbage cans, the ones used by the seafood restaurant. But lately, the gang had all been busy, and so Princess was going to go in a different direction. She was going to go up Prince Street towards the school. There were some busy spots along the way, so it was not as safe a route as going down the street towards the park. But Princess thought it was worth the risk, and she was very careful. Hi, Princess. Out for a walk again, I see, called Lucky an old corgi, and a relative to Lucy, who was a member of the group of dogs she played with. Yes, I am, Lucky. Are you walking your owner again? Princess called. Sure am. We are off to the coffee shop on the row. Did you want to tag along? Not today, Lucky. Thank you. See you later then. Have a nice day, Lucky barked. Princess didn't see many dogs lately when she was out exploring, so it was nice to meet a neighbor. Looking both ways, Princess crossed the final street before she came to the section of Prince Street that contained her destination. She could hear the noise in the distance, and after a quick dash, she arrived where she planned on spending the next little while or so. Prince Street School. Lately, Princess had been coming here to sit and watch all the children playing. Princess loved children. She would play with them at her owner's parents' house, and sometimes they would come over and give her pets. Some would also want to give her snacks, but she knew that young ones needed the snacks more than she did. They still had a lot of growing to do, after all. Today, in the distance, she noticed something new. Something she had not seen on this part of Prince Street in a long time. It was a tabby cat up in a tree that overlooked the playground at the school. Princess walked over and introduced herself. Hi there, my name is Princess. I can't say I've seen you around here before. Hi, my name is Jiggles. Um, are you a nice dog? I think I am, Princess replied. I am sorry to ask such a question, but where I come from, there aren't that many dogs that don't like to tease or chase cats. And I'm not really feeling up to a race today, Jiggles said. Oh, I see. I can assure you, Jiggles, that I will not chase or tease you. I like to make friends with all kinds of animals and people. Where are you from? Oh, that is good to hear. I am from Ontario originally, but my owners moved here a year ago. I live in a house just a little ways from here. You look different than many dogs I have seen before. There aren't many Salukis around town, I think. That may be why. So, why are you up in that tree instead of at home? My owners are always working and usually let me roam around the backyard a little bit. Oh, that's nice, I guess. Yeah, but out of habit, I like to find a tree to climb so that I can see more of the neighborhood. That's a great idea. I wish I could climb trees, Princess said with what looked like a smile. Aha, uh-huh. 
I guess that's an advantage of being a cat. But you know, I think you seem like the kind of dog who would be able to help me. Oh, I think so. I always try to help my friends. While I usually just stay in the backyard when my owners are gone, lately I have been going out into the neighborhood via a section of the fence that I could bend open enough with my head that I could squeeze through. But today, that section of the fence closed tighter than before, and now I can't get back in. While I can climb a tree like this, I'm afraid the fence is too high for me to climb. And, well, I am called Jiggles for a reason. I have helped my friend Templeton leave our basement before, but I haven't helped anyone to get back into a place. I would love to try if you would let me. I would really appreciate it, Jiggles said as he climbed down the tree. My house is just a short walk this way. Jiggles said as he walked alongside Princess. So, what brings you to this part of Prince Street? Do you often go out for walks without your owner? Jiggles asked. I do. I have a group of friends I like to play with. You are welcome to join us sometime if you can. But lately I have been coming here to sit and watch the kids play in the playground when they are taking a break from school. Sometimes they come and play with me and the teachers are very kind, too. Oh, that sounds nice. Does your owner let you outside? Jiggles asked. Not exactly. My owners think I am smart enough to do tricks, but they don't know I am also smart enough to open the back door to our house. Owners always underestimate us, I think, Jiggles said. That could be true. Princess said as Jiggles slowed down when they came to a small house on the corner. This is my place here on the right, Jiggles said, indicating with his head. Wow, that is a high fence around your backyard, Princess exclaimed. Yes, it is. Some of the neighborhood cats that I am friends with have managed to climb over, and we hang out sunning in the yard. But, well, I jiggle a lot and I can't yet. I see the hole in the fence, Princess said, running up to the spot in the fence that Jiggles would squeeze through. I think maybe the piece of wood is just a bit loose, and when you went through the last time, it slid back in place. That looks like it might be the case, but what can we do? asked Jiggles. You get ready to squeeze through while I grab the edge that is sticking out with my teeth. I think I can pull it over just enough for you to go through, but you might want to be quick because I don't know how long I can hold it, okay? Okay, I'll be ready, Jiggles said as he crouched, ready to quickly squeeze through. Princess pulled hard on the board with her mouth. Dogs are really great at pulling things with their mouths, so that wasn't really a problem for Princess. But she was concerned that the board might slip when Jiggles was going through. Not wanting him to get stuck, she bit down extra hard. The board opened just enough for Jiggles to quickly go through. Phew, that was close, Jiggles said from behind the fence. Thank you very much for helping me, Princess. It's always a pleasure to help friends when I can, Princess said. If you would like to hang out with my friends sometime, you are very welcome. Even though we are dogs and you are a cat, there is no reason why we can't have fun together. Thank you, Princess. It is always nice to make a new friend, especially one as nice as you. Let's meet at Prince Street School again one day soon. Jiggles meowed from behind the fence. Sounds good to me. Bye for now, Princess said as she began her walk home. Happy that not only had she made a new friend, but also that she had yet another adventure on Prince Street. And that's the end of this part. 
Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>